hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jamila from jamila plans and today we have another weekly wax melting basket and empties for you so as per usual we're just gonna hop right in and let's get started so i went through a few i have a few carryovers but i got through most of it so first we have the scoopable from l3 wax and wonders and watermelon pucker this was really really good it was very strong it lasted like over 24 hours in my living room it was amazing would definitely repurchase even though watermelon isn't my favorite scent i will still definitely repurchase that especially for like the spring summertime next we have this um mini melter bag from rose girls it was ooey gooey caramel and this one was okay. Um, I think I had something from them called, it was like caramel latte, not latte, caramel macchiato or something. And it was like caramel and coffee mixed together. It was really, really good. I love that scent. I would definitely pick that scent over this scent. This is okay. It just didn't do it for me. So I probably won't pick this up again. Next we have a... Um, I think there was a four pack like tart from L3 Waxy Wonders and Yugo Glen Coco. And it is Cocoa Butter Cashmere Cashmere Cedar. Today is October 3rd and it is absolutely amazing. This is probably one of my favorite scents. Oh, it just smells so good. I have several backups. So yes, I would definitely pick this up again if you love a good, you know, Today is October 3rd, Palo Santo situation. I would definitely tell you to pick this up. Next, we have this brown sugar pound cake kolaches. And this was absolutely amazing. I am melting the rest of this right now in my living room. And it is amazing. I melted this yesterday for the first time. And it, like, the scent was amazing it was strong it lasted i could smell it when i got home this morning because i work night shift i could smell it when i got home so yes amazing would we'll definitely pick this up again i definitely recommend this next we have from fantasy wax melts it's game boy it's cucumber melon it's the typical 90s um scent of cucumber melon it's amazing would we'll definitely pick it up again if the, it was available but yeah Another one from Kirsten, well, from Fantasy Wax Melts is Kirsten's Fave 7 Up Pound Cake, and it did not disappoint. It was absolutely amazing. I only have four left, so I'm going to have to melt those sparingly, but it was just absolutely amazing. Ugh, it just smells so good. It smells like a 7 Up Pound Cake. Ugh, I love that scent. Uh, I wish I had more, but I don't. But yes, I would definitely. So you get this if it was available, but it's not available right now. Next, we have from Black Magic Melt Strawberry White Cake Zucchini Bread. And Black Magic Melt is so slowly becoming one of my faves. This scent was absolutely amazing. I'm melting the rest of this in my room right now. Oh, amazing. Uh, you definitely get the strawberry and the the bread no oh, it's just it's just the sweetness from like hey it's just perfect i would definitely pick this up if they restock this again amazing um this scent is fresh pick strawberries cotton candy lemon curd as i said before i was just trying to get this out of my um stash i don't think i like lemon curd so i don't think i would pick this up again but it was it was okay Next, from Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Minnie Mouse Summer Scoop Type. And I'm so glad I picked up another five of these. If you saw my haul, you saw that I picked up five more of these. It was amazing. I'm tempted to go back and see if there's any more in stock left. Because oh, this is just... I'm slowly loving strawberry scents, apparently, but this summer scoop, it just smells like just like strawberry ice cream. Oh, just amazing. Fantasy Wax Milks has really just been killing it lately. They can take all my coins, so yes. 
Next, we have this Roseberry Mint Salty Sea Air. And it was, I, I liked it. It was a minty, salty sea air scent. This is something I would definitely repurchase again to put in my bathroom or if you're just feeling sick or something like that. Or just want a little beachy, minty scent going on. Yes, I would definitely buy this again. So, yes. And then we have Nocturne Alley. Um, this scent... Honestly, it smelled like nothing when I melted it. And I've had this for quite a, a while. I think it came in my first order from L3. So, yeah, I didn't smell anything. So, yeah, I can't say much about it. All right, that is all of the empties we have for this week. So, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the carryovers that we had. So, of course, we had... A little bit of this kissing in the rain um, that I've been melting in my bathroom. I love this scent. I need to go in there because I think she has Rose Girls have more of this in stock and buy some more because this is an amazing bathroom scent. I love this. Then we, I wasn't able to. No, I did melt this once, um, but I ended up falling asleep and I didn't get the full like note of this. So. I'm going to melt this again for the rest of the week. And I'll be able to tell you guys more about this. But yeah. And then the last carryover we have is Rasha Cookie Mala Fluff. It's this um, loaf that I'm working on. So yes. I might finish this week. Yeah, I probably will finish it this week. And then... Next, what we'll be melting is Joey Gladstone Sugar Corn Pudding from Fantasy Wax Melts. I really wanted to melt this to see what it smelled like because she said it's a mixture between um, cereal and bakery. And I really wanted to see. I ended up buying two more just because it smelled really good on cold, but I really want to see what it smells like on warm. Next, I have Over the River and Through the Woods, which is Sweater Weather, Cranberry Woods, and Apple Cider. Um, this scent, I didn't really pull anything for the bathroom, per se, because I know I'm going to run out of kissing in the rain. So, I thought, hey, this will work for the bathroom. So, yeah. It's, still, it's not super fall, but somewhat fall still. So, I meant whatever I want year-round, and that's just that. <laughs> Next, we have lavender coconut milk from Rose Girls. And I haven't melted a lavender scent in a while. So I figured it was about times. It smells so good. The lavender mixed with that coconut milk scent. Oh, I just know it's going to be good. I probably could put this in the bathroom as well. So yeah. And then we have this four pack fluted tart from L3 Waxy Wonders and Zucchini Bread Diet Starts Monday, Strawberry Jam. Let's see. Mm. It smells like a, I smell the zucchini bread and like a sweet note from it. So I'm really excited to see what that smells like on warm. I love the good zucchini bread scent. Next, we have from L3 Waxy Wonders. It's White Elephant Exchange and Cotton Candy Craze. I think this was their like pride scent last year, which is cotton candy, cotton candy frosting, blue raspberry, cotton candy powder donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake for vanilla frosting. So, I got this in my first order from L3, so it should be cured really well. So, I'm really excited. I definitely can smell that cotton candy, but you know, scoopables. You really have to dig in them first. So, yes, we will see once I melt this. But I have a feeling it's going to really do me right. And I had to pull at least one Black Magic Melt scent. This is um, Chocolate Dipped Strawberries. As you guys know, I love their um, Chocolate Covered Cherries, I think it's called. So... Yes, if my memory serves me correct, this one smells a little bit more chocolate. Yeah, I'm smelling most of the chocolate, so we'll see how that goes for me. I'm not really a big fan of chocolate, 
But hopefully the strawberries comes out on one. Then next we have a few samples and a few scents that were given to me. My aunt actually gave this scent to me. It's from a company called Great Scent. I've never a great scent. I've never purchased from them, but it's Fruity Pebbles, which is orm lemon, lavender, vanilla, and sandalwood. Mm, and it's very strong on cold, so I know it's gonna be very powerful on warm so i'm really excited to melt that she writes about this company all the time then she also gave me from the same company strawberry bliss which is ripe strawberry nuances green accord sheer must sugar accents these are some notes i've never that's okay we'll see we'll see those are some notes i've never like seen before so yeah and then she also gave me this because i really wanted this when i there was like a ready to ship and i didn't wasn't able to get it and she got this from rose girls in like a package it was a sample and she let me have it it's called thanksgiving dessert which is pumpkin pecan waffle sweet potato pie marshmallow smoothie and yes it's a fall scent but fight me i guess Mm, it smells so good. I cannot wait to melt that. Ugh. And we have a few samples from Fantasy Wax Melts. We have pineapple, pine, apple, cinnamon, and bayberry. Mm, that smells really good. And I was a little concerned about the pine, but that smells amazing. So, yes, I definitely am excited to melt that. Then we have red velvet cake, which I, I have the full size of this scent. So, I'm glad I'm going to be able to melt this, this before I melt the full scent. Just so I can see what it smells like. But it definitely smells like red velvet cake for sure. And then they have Mountain Dew. It smells exactly like Mountain Dew. I thought it would smell like Fizzy Pop, but I, it smells exactly like a Mountain Dew, which I'm excited about. And last but not least, we have Mexican fried ice cream. I'm super excited about the scent. Don't know why, but it sounds so delicious. So, yeah. It smells really sweet. So, yes, I cannot wait to melt that all right guys that is all i have for this week's melting basket thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more of my content don't forget to like comment and i can't even get it out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye